So this question is a diagram question. So let's see if there's anything that we can label here. Um, for sure, these two angles are equal to each other. It doesn't look like I can label anything else, so I'm going to go to the question. The question says, in the figure above, line segment AE is parallel to line segment CD. So I'm going to just draw in my parallel symbols here. And also think about, well, if those lines are parallel, what else can I say? Well, that would mean that angle C is congruent to angle E because of alternate interior angles. And angle A is congruent to angle D because of alternate interior angles. So then that also tells me that, you know, these two angles are equal to each other. D is equal to A, C is equal to E. So I have two triangles with corresponding angles being congruent. Therefore, the side lengths have a set ratio, right? So what I like to do sometimes is even redraw the triangles in the same orientation so our eyes can really see the connection between the two. So I'm going to say this is B for both, and then C and D, and then E and E. A. So again, angle B's were the same, angle C's are the same, and D and A are all the same, right? So B, so the two B's, C equals E, or C is congruent to E, and D is congruent to A. So what do we know about side lengths? Well, from B to D is 5, and from B to A is 10, and uh, the length of B to E is 8. Therefore, the length of B to C would be 4 because we see this ratio here between 5 and 10, right? So this right side, so triangle 2, triangle 1, triangle 2 is 2 times larger than triangle 1. So that's that's something that we could do. So I now know that BC is 4, is four so that was useful. All right, so let's keep reading. Then it says segment AD intersects segment CE at B. So we can see that we, we already took care of that information. And then it says, what is the length of segment CE? Well, CE is made up of CB plus BE. CB is 4. BE is 8. Therefore, the, the distance from C to E is equal to 12. And that is our final answer.